Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me, and welcome to Bar Harbor, Maine. We've been here for two weeks now, and we had an amazing time here. If you're ever coming to Maine, make sure you check out Bar Harbor. Our stay here was the busiest stay we have ever had, and we planned it that way because this was the middle of our trip, our goal for the entire year. Our time here started by reconnecting with our friends Casey and Kristen and getting to go check out the 4th of July fireworks over Bar Harbor. Check it out. Such a cute little town. This town is awesome. We gotta come hang out here. Look hey, at look, the drone. Look this way. Seeing the 4th of July fireworks in Bar Harbor is definitely a bucket list thing. I think it's one of the most famous 4th of July celebrations there is in the United States. But after that, we decided to go check out a lumberjack show. Check out how awesome this was. So we're going to a lumberjack show and up until about 30 seconds ago, I thought this was gonna be like a musical thing because Alicia said, hey, we're doing something tonight. And when I, I heard her and I said, there's an event tonight. And the whole day I thought it was gonna be like a Branson, Missouri type thing. And she just told me it's actually a lumberjack thing. We're seeing like lumberjack sports. I told him we were going to a lumberjack show. I thought he would know what I meant. Of course, I know what we meant because I'm from home of die ball lumberjacks. That was our mascot growing up. So we're going to watch lumberjack things. And just to give you a little credit, Lainey thought we were coming to learn how to be lumberjack. She thought we were going out into the woods to chop things down is what she told me at the pool today. So you weren't the only one who didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I thought all day I was going to a Branson show. Now I'm super excited because there's chainsaws and axes and they're going to do lumberjack stuff. That was actually really awesome. You remember that show that came on TV at 3 a.m. called the Timber Sports Olympics or something like that? Well, that is actually what this place is. They've owned this place for 25 years and the lady that owns it actually used to be the MC for all those events. And this is kind of a recreation. They're not professionals, but they're really good at what they do. Anyway, it was actually pretty cool. I'm so glad it was not a Branson musical with Timber Sports. Hey. What'd you think? It was awesome. I loved it. <laughs> Felt like I was back to my roots. <laughs> Even though I don't think I've ever hey. chopped wood a day in my life. <laughs> hey, 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 I got all their names. You got all their autographs. And what else did you get to do during the show? I get to go up there and, and, and do this. Yep, you were sawing. And you asked a question for the crowd. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. It was a great show. You should come see it. And then I got to go do something with one of our viewers I never would have done. I went on an airplane ride over Acadia National Park. Well, not really over, around it. Most amazing thing I've ever done. Thank you again, Greg, for inviting me.
While I drive back to the RV, why don't you guys take a tour of this RV park we stayed at while we were here. This is Timberland Acres in Trenton, Maine. It's just outside Far Harbor, Maine, and it is super big rig friendly. Not a lot of amenities, but it's perfect for being here. Look at these sites. These right here are the middle pull through sites. I'm convinced you could have three toy haulers in there and still have room to park your truck. Huge sites. Probably the biggest rig friendly place in the area. This is our RV site and it's huge. We have a pull through, we have enough room for the toy hauler door to go down. Plus I could fit probably two dealies in the front. Plenty of space between us and the neighbors. Full hookups. To your right, that's the pavilion. And right here, is a giant chair to take pictures in. Also, right back there by the chairs, there's a waffle truck that comes by and sells like pizza waffles, donut waffles, all kinds of waffle treats. Comes by like every afternoon for like three to four hours. Pretty awesome. To our left, that's the laundry and bathhouses. Right here is the pool and the playground. Coming up here on our right is the dumpsters. Right here to our left is the arcade, the rec room, and they also have an on-site, it's like a deli. It makes a uh, mixed finger food type things. It's pretty good, it's awesome. Right here, basketball courts and propane filling station. And then right up here, this is the exit. There's actually two ways to get in and out. One straight out and the office is right there. The main office sells lobster rolls here. This RV park sells lobster rolls. So that's the RV park. It doesn't have a lot of amenities, but it's perfect if you want to explore Acadia National Park and Bar Harbor. So what did we pay a night? We paid $64.59 a night. We stayed 14 days, and this is by far the biggest big rig friendly place and the cheapest place to stay. We had some viewers that stayed at the KOA. They paid $140 a night down there. If so if you're ever in the area and you want to explore Bar Harbor, stay here at Timberland Acres in Trenton, Maine. We also got a brand new upgrade for our RV. We got a new water softener. Let me show you all about it. Here is our new water softener from Blue Technologies. It has been really awesome. We've only had it for two weeks now, but our showers are much more soapy and our skin is much less dry. Plus, it pairs up perfectly with our R3 three-stage water filter from Blue Tech. And when you use their stainless steel lines, everything couples up nicely to your existing system. Today is also the last day of our giveaway with Blue Tech. They've agreed to let me give an R3 right there, just like that one, to one of you guys out there. And all you got to do to get entered to win is head over to pavenewpaths.com and get yourself some merch. Any merch purchased through the end of the day will have you entered to win your very own R3 three-stage water filter for your RV. Good luck, y'all. Since we're packing up and we've used the water softener for two weeks now, it's time for our first maintenance on the water softener, and it's time for a regeneration process. So what is a regeneration process? Well, we have to add salt to the system and flush it out so that it continues working like it's supposed to. All right, here we go. We're just gonna pour this whole container of salt inside the water softener. All right, now we just put the cap back on and we start the flushing procedure. All right, now we just let it run like this for about 15 minutes, and then we go to step two. You know, this is probably gonna make a mess right here. Let me move this somewhere else so we don't make a huge mess here around the RVs. All right, this is much better. Now, instead of flooding out the area around the RV, we're still watering their grass. We're just doing it over here, away from the RVs. So now we let this run for about 15 minutes. Then we go to a full stream and let it run for three to four minutes. And that's how you regenerate the resin inside the water softener. All right, that's done. Time to hook it all back up. From the water spigot to the R3 water filter, to the water softener, to the RV. Now it's time to enjoy some more soft water. Remember, today is the last day to get in to win your very own R3 water filter from Blue Technology. If you want to get in to win, head over to PaymeNewPass.com, get yourself some merch, and get yourself your own water filter system. 
not only was exploring Bar Harbor amazing, this stay in particular was one of the most special stays we've ever had. And that's because we got to hang out with several of you guys out there. In this park alone, we met over 10 families who follow us on YouTube. We enjoy getting to hang out with you and spend time with you and learn about your RV adventures. And remember, we love you and we appreciate the support. We also got to spend several days in Acadia National Park. We even saw the sunset one night from the top of Cadillac Mountain. We went and visited Sam Beach and the Thunder Hole and did the entire park loop. Acadia National Park, pretty awesome. We also spent a lot of time watching it rain. For those of you who don't know, it rains a lot up here in Maine. We were here 14 days and it rained eight of those days. Sometimes just a little and sometimes the whole day was nothing but rain. This is what it does here. There's two types of rain up here in the Northeast. It's this, where it's like you're in a cloud all day. It's not really raining, but you get wet. And then there is the extreme version of this, which is like a monsoon that comes through and floods this whole place out. This is what it does here all the time. Like today, you can do things because it's not really raining, raining. But then there's the days where it rains so bad that I can't even get to the truck without walking through water. Welcome to the Northeast where it rains literally almost every day up here. We were also able to finish up some repairs on the RV, like these baggage compartment handles. These right here became more of a big deal than I thought they were gonna be. We're here at Webb's RV service. We have our old locks. We have our new locks. And hopefully we're gonna go inside and have them change out the lock cylinder with their master key. And then our new lock, will have our old lock and our entire RV will be keyed with the same key. So here is the e-trailer ones that they say you can't remove. Came right out. And just like that, we have all of our new latches keyed with our old cylinders so that the same key opens every door on our RV. And I'm glad that they let me film in there and show you how easy it was to change the cylinders out even though e-trailer claims you cannot change them out. You can, and it's a lot cheaper if you just do it yourself. We also got to help Kristen and Casey out by installing a train horn on their truck. Who's ready to hear a train horn? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, he's way down there. Give us a train horn. That's a little ridiculous. I really hope you guys are enjoying that train horn. It's loud and it's awesome. We finally got to try the famous Maine lobster roll. And all the ones we had on our trip up to Bar Harbor were nothing compared to these. Maine, you know how to do it. It's lobster roll time in Bar Harbor, Maine. We've done tried it three times on this trip so far and let's hope it's better than a expensive hot dog. Okay, this place came very highly recommended on a local group here called Bar Harbor Happenings. I suggest you get on that Facebook group if you come to this area. But this is called the Traveling Lobster. Yeah. And we're gonna give those lobster rolls one more try. So much of a try, they have a sampler here. You can get like six different lobster rolls. So there's no way we won't find one we might like here. Yeah, I say we try, like between us two, we all get a sampler. That'll be six different types of lobster rolls and surely we can find one we'll like. Just so y'all know, we've been actually been eating lobster since we've been here, we just haven't told you about it. But we found something we like. We found lobster tacos. Who knew? We don't like the hot dog bun, we like a tortilla. It's because we love condiments and it had all kinds of fun stuff on top with the lobster. Um, they were so delicious, we went to that place twice. I don't remember the name of it, but... No idea, they It just has opened. an ice cream shop out front that is in the shape of a lobster boat. Yes, and they just opened a few months ago, so we don't know the name, sorry. Let us know in the comments if you know what it is. <laughs> but we've eaten there two times in a row. Let's go try these rolls one last time. All right, we have our lobster, and I think we overdid it. We have five lobster rolls at this table right now. We have the sampler, which has a hot, a cold, and a naked. We have a slaw lobster roll, and we have a BLT lobster hey, roll. Hey, so the blueberry Coke is in this. Blueberry Coke. Hey. Was it yummy? Hey. Yeah. Hey, is blueberry Coke I mean, I'm not gonna lie. When I thought two ounces, I thought like this much lobster roll. This thing is huge. Like, we're gonna be so full. Hopefully, when we leave here, we love lobster rolls. We started with the hot butter one. Big fan. Oh my gosh. 
I feel like this is what we have been missing. This is amazing. The hot butter one. That's the one you should get. The cold one, not as good as the butter one. So, so far, the butter one's winning. The naked one was just meat with no mayo or lettuce. It was okay. So far, the butter one. The butter one's where, you, where it's at. The butter one, that's, that's what you guys must have been talking about this whole time. The BLT one tastes just like the cold one. Basically a cold lobster roll with uh, lettuce and tomatoes and bacon in it. But not bad, but nothing. We should, probably shouldn't have started with the butter one. Shouldn't have started with the butter one. All right, I just finished the slaw one. And for me, it goes butter, slaw, BLT, cold, and then naked. The butter one, you shouldn't get anything else but the butter one. The butter one's where it's at. This is nothing like any of the lobster rolls we've had this entire trip. Also, the cheapest ones we've had. <laughs> Good job, Bar Harbor. All right, so here's my preference. Hot buttered, BLT, slaw, cold, naked. Naked. Definitely get the hot buttered. It's so good. Can you say the traveling lobster? Traveling lobster. And then it came time to say goodbye to our friends, Kristen and Casey. It was time for them to leave and they had to continue their adventures. Our friends are leaving us. It's been two weeks of hanging out with them up here in Maine and right. it's been awesome, but they have to go on their next adventure, but now they get to do it with a new train horn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear it since I only heard it from the RV the other day, which is so far away. It's gonna be loud. She said, uh, is that y'all train horning? And we're like, who else would be train horning right now? Yeah. Say bye. <laughs> Yeah. Bye, Bubba. Be safe. Bye, man. See you, brother. Bye. See you. Bye. See you, man. Y'all safe travels. Oh. Say bye, Caleb. Bye, girlfriend. Yeah, wow. Give him a big hug. Give him a big hug. <laughs> Y'all wave bye. Hey, okay, let's do the train. Bye. He's really getting the hang of that train horn. I know, it does sound good. It's really loud. There's got to be a break-in period that it's louder than normal. <laughs> Goodbye to Casey and Kristen. By the way, when they hung out with us, we wore off on them and they went and bought cameras and they're going to start their own YouTube channel. So hopefully soon, they'll have some videos to share with their adventures as well on YouTube. When it happens, we'll let you know. Also, I would like to say a big thank you to Lainey. She is only 17 years old and she did a great job at helping with all of these children. It's a big job and she mastered it. So thank you, Lainey. We hope you're having a great time and we'll see you all again soon. While we were here in Bar Harbor, we also celebrated my 40th birthday. That's right, I'm now the big 4-0. Finally caught up to Alicia. Love you, girl. Hi to YouTube. Hello YouTube. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. They've been missing you. They've been requesting more Phil. And guess what? We have Phil's chair in action, but Phil ain't sitting in it. Guess who's sitting in it? You want to see who's here? Hold on. Let me, yeah, let, me let me flip the camera. Hold on. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Phil, oh, my shoot. man? Hold I'm on. doing your chair justice, brother. <laughs> Well, you sat in my chair. I didn't get to sit on your motorcycle. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And there's Brenda sitting on oh, the chair. Oh. Okay, well, come on up, brother. You can sit on the motorcycle anytime. <laughs> right. Happy early 40th birthday early, Kevin. <laughs> Phil, That's Phil, this is just like that time I tried to get you to talk about the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> just just buy the dang shirts that's how that conversation ended so why did our friends brendan and Dwayne come see us because it's daddy's birthday it's daddy's birthday celebration it's not my birthday yet i'm still 39 for a few more hours he doesn't have long left then he'll be 40 like technically i have like 11 more hours <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Yay! What about you, Bubba? Can you say in your happy birthday voice? 
Happy birthday, Daddy. Finally caught up to you. You finally oh. caught up to your old lady. Now <laughs> you you're said in it, the, not me. Now you're in the 40 Club. <laughs> so in the comments, tell Kevin happy birthday. He's he's getting up there in age now. You know, it doesn't matter how old I am. I'm still younger than she is. You're, he meant to say he's still young at heart. That's what he meant to say. <laughs> and by age. <laughs> Thank you, Dwayne and Brenda, for coming by for Kevin's birthday. We're enjoying seeing you again. So if you don't know Brenda and Dwayne, we saw them first at Creek Fire in Savannah, Georgia, mm -hmm. then again in Fredericksburg um, in Texas. So you can catch them in those videos, and we'll make sure they get a happy birthday shout out to you also. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> we wish you the best 40th birthday ever. ever. Well, Thank y'all for coming to hang out with us for his birthday. We appreciate it, Dwayne and Brenda. Y'all yes. are the best. You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> Kevin. Eh. Oh. I mean, Kevin's just the whole operation of paving, yeah, paving new paths. Of course, we don't want to badmouth Kevin because he's cooking the food. Exactly. <laughs> and he's the wing duster. He's, he's the, the wing, wing duster. duster. <laughs> if you haven't had Cosmo Q's wing dust, oh, these mosquitoes in Maine do not play. You should get you some because they're bird. so good. Yes, Brenda informed me that the mosquito is the state bird here in uh, Maine. I would not disagree. <laughs> Did you leave any lobster for the rest of us? Dude, imagine. If, oh my gosh. What if the people in Louisiana found crawfish this big? <laughs> Look at it. It's huge. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Did you make a wish? I did. All right. Was That's it for awesome. more lobster? Nah, uh, maybe. Tell them who we ran into at the restaurant. We ran into Rose. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. So tell them who Rose This is, is. actually Stephanie. She's oh, the lady yeah. who drove our tour bus to the Bar Harbor Fireworks. She works for Jeff, she, the guy that told us how to get back on the bus. She's the best yeah. driver ever. I won't tell you why, but Kevin really yeah, thanked don't her. Tell them <laughs> What an amazing and eventful two weeks we had here in Bar Harbor, Maine. Maine, this was our goal for the entire year. Starting back in January in Big Bend, Texas, we made a goal to get to Maine by the middle of July. Well, we made it, we came to Maine, we loved Maine, but the adventure is not over. This is just the halfway point. We still have to work our way back to Texas by Christmas and we have several states on our plans to get there. We love you, we enjoyed hanging out with you. Stay tuned to find out where we go next. Thank you.